The foster care system can be difficult to navigate for foster families and parents trying to keep their kids. But now there's a new office to help with the challenges. In 30 Days of Hope, 10 News anchor Jenna Zipton is working for you to introduce the new man on the job. We're expecting the floodgates to open once we do become public. Eric Reynolds is Virginia's first children's ombudsman. His office works with anyone who touches child protective services or foster care. What we've done is all evaluation. This tour is so he can learn what options are out there for training the children aging out of foster care without a family. The office of the children's ombudsman can do different things, from providing information to biological families when they have concerns to opening investigations. We'll take a look and see uh, what was done. Was policy followed? Was there, was there a policy violated? Was there a law violated? Uh, what did the agency do? An important job since social services is state supervised but locally administered, meaning each department of social services can operate differently. And I think an office like this is uh, perfect for this kind of format because of the lack of, of accountability that we have here. If the office existed in 2016, Reynolds could have looked into Rockbridge County after an internal investigation found the Department of Social Services had been shredding documents and ignoring cases of physical and sexual abuse to children. In at least one case, it led to the death of an infant. Right now, his office is working about 25 different calls it needs to address. Virginia law um, gives a lot of authority to social services about placement decisions, you know, which, which foster home to go in uh, or which adoptive family. Those decisions have to be made, but there's no checks and balances on that. When a decision to take a child away from this family and put them with a different foster family, you know, was that decision in the child's best interest? You know, there's no way to, to really check that. He's asking if there's a way to change a policy or law, which he can propose or advocate for as part of his job. Another one of his primary concerns is better legal representation for parents. Can we, in Virginia, take a look at some of these other models of representation so we can provide the quality services, legal services, to the, the families, the children and the parents so that judges can make really good decisions and, you know, uh, help keep the system accountable. Reynolds plans to advocate for change in the upcoming legislative session. You can read more on his ideas on WSLS.com. Dylan is excited about the idea of adoption and about searching for his forever family. The 13 year old's ideal home would consist of a loving family where games of all types are played. His favorite movie is Detective Pikachu, and he loves video games, especially Minecraft and Roblox. Piano playing and fiddling with instruments have been interests for quite some time, and he also enjoys singing. He'll tell you his spirit animal is a tiger because they're brave, fierce, smart, and protective. Dylan's favorite subjects in school are math and science, but he says he enjoys them all. Some of his other favorite things include slushies, frosties, ice cream, and Mexican food. He wants to be a computer specialist or astronaut when he grows up. Dylan dreams of having a kind and loving family, and he wishes he could be the smartest person in the universe. Seeing volcanoes in person would be something on his bucket list, and if he could have a superpower, it would be to control the weather. Me too. <laughs> Dylan is just one of 30 children we're featuring during 30 Days of Hope, trying to find families for the hundreds of kids in foster care across Virginia in danger of aging out of the system without a family. If you're interested in foster care or adoption, head to WSLS.com and click on 30 Days of Hope. Jenna Zibden, 10 News, working for you.